You're watching Big 12 now on ESPN. It's a new era in Houston Cougar football. It's the Willie Fritz era. And today he wraps up his first year as the head coach of spring with training camp. Uh, and man, it's just a great time for young guys to shine. I think we're going to have a lot of young guys play today. I think Coach Fritz said everybody's going to play. Um, you know, looking forward to some, some highlight reel catches, some, some big points. Went down the distance, you have to. It's a football game. And a third and ten right now with Chris out of the shotgun. Chris rolling to his right, launching it deep downfield to go out of bounds. So three straight incomplete passes and one series in. Defense a little bit ahead of the offense. You know, is it live, is it not live? Um, you know, look forward to run the ball a little bit here, get settled uh, as the second group of offense gets going here. Lucas Coley, been with the program for a couple of years. Parker Jenkins, the sophomore, had a big Arkansas. Second down and nine from the 34, a little bit of pressure. Coley fires it, the ball pops free. And what he called an incomplete pass, never had possession of it. So incomplete and 10 from the 34. Coley in the shotgun set. With Jenkins to his right shoulder. Fires over the middle and incomplete. Game and uh, you gotta love it. Zeon Chris back into the game at quarterback, hands it off to Sneed. Sneed running off tackle to the right side, picks up some positive yards. Sneed known for his speed. Oklahoma transfer. He was with the Cougars last year and had 64 tackles. Chris, again the handoff to Sneed up the middle. Flag flies ah. in as Sneed picked up the first down, uh, diving across the 45 yard line. But what happened? So second and seven, maybe the uh, the holding was a little bit ahead of the offensive line. Chris goes back into the shotgun set, fires it over the middle, and it's a little behind the receiver. Joseph Manjack back with Houston. Behind him, in long for Chris in the Houston Cougar offense, wearing the white defense, wearing the red. Taking the snap, pressure, they're going to roll that a sack. Of course, quarterbacks aren't live in the spring game. That's why they're wearing the black jersey. So they'll, if you're close enough, it's up to the... Uh, the Today and, uh, you know, develop as a passer, but... You know, a lot of the offense that uh, he's able to bring to the table is his with his legs. Nadeem Tucker, the, the set takeover, first series uh, at the helm at the quarterback spot for the Houston Cougar offense. As you see three receivers bunched up to the right side. Handoff up the middle. Some positive yards, gaining a few. Yeah, you just see 10. Or... Second down and eight. Again, the shotgun set. It'll be interesting, too, to see you know, what does this offense look like. We do have some... Information, of course, from Willie Fritz at his previous stops as the pass complete. Walk through some plays. Even Donovan. Oh, here we go. A little offsides, maybe a free play. Going deep down the right sideline, taking advantage uh, of that. You got to give him a chance. I, I call that ball a pizza ball. And you got a guy offsides, man, and, and, and you get a chance to throw a deep ball, you got to give your guy a chance. And when you're running time, everybody's growing a little bit, trying to figure out their, uh, their feet and, and where to line up, what to do, and how to do it. Another handoff up the middle. It's Thomas again, and Thomas gets it across the 50-yard line. Yeah, right back to it. Smith running off to the right side. Good play on the outside. Yanked down to Leak Robbins, the old Miss transfer. Able to get Smith by the back of the jersey, yanked him down. Yeah, great play by Robbins there. On the defensive side of the field for the first time, first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Dropping back to pass McMichael, fires left, and it's caught in the numbers left side. Take completions. Uh, take some shots when you get a chance, maybe over the top. Let's see if we get one here. We're getting close to the red zone. Second down and seven. Handoff up the middle. Big collision around the 40-yard line. Near the first down marker will be a collision for sure, at least in the game. Third down and two. Late first quarter. Another handoff up the middle. Be close to the first down. Looks like he got on the second effort. Good. Running up the middle as the offense moves the chains again. Who's ready to play today? Nickel again leading the uh, offense on their best drive of the afternoon so far. Play action, stepping into the pocket, and he's going to be sacked. <laughs> on the sack was Anthony Holmes, the sophomore. We got to we got to let these boys play. Let the boys play. Got back near the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Didn't lose yardage on the play. Another handoff running left is Sherman Smith yet again picks up. Nickel out of the uh, shotgun, three receivers to the right side. Again, a handoff up the middle, and this time it's going nowhere. I have even lost a couple of yards. You see Holmes in on the stop, also helping out with the tackle for the territory, especially in the spring game. McMichael takes a low snap, looking left, fires quickly, pass caught with some space. Has the first down across the 20 and near the 15-yard line. Good 
Decision by McMichael as he finds Sherman Smith out of the backfield to move the chains on fourth down. Harbay was the OC at Mississippi State last year, App State the year prior to that, Central Michigan in 21. And his offense is driving, handoff up the middle, running free across the 25 and shy of the 20 yard line. Cougars will send a receiver in motion to the left side, handoff again, their feet and Sherman Smith. Smith this time just a, just a small gain up the middle, maybe a yard or two. These young guys up front uh, on both sides of the ball getting good reps uh, going into training camp next year. Third and four, faking the handoff, keeping it McMichael, and they're going to roll him dead at around the five-yard line. It'll be good for the first down, but they're going to say he was tackled. Again, quarterback's not live. So they give him the first down. It'll be first and goal at the five. Faked out the cameraman there. I always love that. That gets extra points there from my man McMichael. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad they gave him two extra yards there. Uh, on the three sounds a little better than the five. Snyder to the right side of McMichael. He'll take the handoff running left, and he dives into the end zone for the score. Sergio Snyder with the touchdown for the Cougars on a three-yard run. Yeah, I love it here from the redshirt freshman, man. Like we said, it just feed him. Feed these young backs the whole way down. A couple of completions. Uh, run from the quarterback to keep the ends honest. You can see right there the good fake from the quarterback. Great job offensive line up front. Just like I talked about, man. That leads him to that. Joseph Kim will kick it off. You have a kick returner, but nobody else. Uh, just those two on the field. This is like a pump pass and kick competition. <laughs> I guess they're changing the rule in the NFL here with the kickoff rules. So, you know, but there is a point where some of this hip drop tackle, the swivel, it's, you know, it's kind of getting ridiculous. Uh-oh, here we go, a little fake reverse. Steed, the ball carrier, with Zeon Chris back into the game at quarterback. And, Second, second down and nine coming up for Chris in the Cougar offense. Chris hands it off. It's Sneed up the middle. Sneed fighting for extra yards, and then he's ripped down at the 30-yard line. Right side ahead of a third down and six. Four-man rush finds Sneed on the sideline right side, and a huge blow shy of the first down marker. It was Isaiah Hamilton. The Houston, actually A.J. Halsey, the Cougar safety coming in to deliver the big hit. Uh, players here. I see a bunch of my former teammates down on the field, current teammates, a few too. Maybe we get to talk to them here in a little bit. Nice ball. Uh, Ui Ale into the game. Here we breaking go. Breaking a tackle and running free. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds. First and 10. 43-yard line of the defense. Ale in the shotgun set with Mathis to his left. Mathis takes the handoff up the middle across the 40 and near the 35-yard line. Down and four for Ale out of the shotgun set. Setting up the screen, defense read it well, throws it to the left side, and a quick stop on the play. Good tackle defensively for the Houston Cougars. Getting the high fives on the stop. Ule in the shotgun set, receiver to the left, two to the right. Hands it off to Mathis running left across the 35-30, and he has the first down. Handoff on a third down and seven. And there's a flag down near the line of scrimmage. Third and seven feels like third and 17 is not something he wants to see like you mentioned. So third and seven from the 39. It's handoff again, running to the right side. He'll be shy of the first down. It's Mathis to the 35-yard line. Picks up four, but it'll be Jeff, and he's been doing a really good job with that. Houston will go for it, fourth and four. Ale wants to run. Ale breaks free towards the sideline Give near the him. first down marker. It's going to be close. Come on, coach. Ale out of the gun with Mathis, fakes the handoff, wants to throw left side. It's caught after the bobble at the 25-yard line. Breaks up the sideline across the 20. Hard in the college game. Really accurate ball, lets him run after the catch. Ale going for the end zone. The oh, pass is man. intercepted. What a play. In the back corner of the end zone, Jalen Emery with the pick. What a play. One-headed catch in the freezing cold Shreveport, Louisiana. Chris had some snaps for the Raging Cajuns in that game. All right, he rolls out of the pocket to the right side. Over the middle, a little behind the target, and it falls incomplete. He was looking for Parker Jenkins out of 10 clock stops with a minute 10 left to go in the half. Has some time, steps into the pocket, he's gonna be sacked. Anthony Holmes, I'm sure, will be credited with this sack. Second time that we've called his name. And it looks like the offense wants to take a timeout with 62 seconds left in the uh, second quarter. And four receivers set, three on the right side for Chris. He's just gonna hand it off. Running to the left side is Jenkins, and Jenkins is brought down after a modest gain. 
And another timeout called. 56 seconds left to go in the we need to see if we can get a few questions out of him, see what he likes to see. Yeah, I like Makai. He's, he's done well. Got a couple of national championships. Looks like they're they going back to him. Lucas Coley throwing it over to the left side. Yes, it is Muse again on the catch. It's who, uh, you know, weren't, weren't the biggest guys, undersized, but you just knew where they were going to be and they were going to win. They were going to catch the ball when it was in the air. Handoff on second and 10. I'm sure as a quarterback, too, you love the speed and the quickness. Separation defense. Handed off right side, looking for some space. Diving forward for another small gain. Steve Polk. Yeah, playing conservative a little bit here at the end, and I, I like it. It's get the play to the quarterback, get the play to the entire offensive line, receivers, running backs, uh, and really in a two-minute drive, it uh, it all heightens and it quickens up. McMichael sacked. Again, uh, went to Dickinson, the same high school as the Heisman Trophy winner, Andre Ware. Spring game for Houston, the red-white game. First one for Willie Fritz as the head coach of the Houston Cougars. It'll be Chris starting the uh, second half on the offensive end. It's the jet sweep running to the right side and a huge loss. It's Gaston again as he brings down Samuel Brown. <laughs> second down and 10 for Chris out of the shotgun. Second guy we've called uh, Gaston's name though. Roll out to the left side, looking to throw. Throws it left side. Flag comes down from the, uh, the back judge as it was reeled in by Malik. Motion man is Manjack. Chris looking to throw, pressure. Flushes the pocket to the right side. He's gonna tuck and run. Cuts inside, early whistle, as you might expect. I mean, you're protecting the QBs. Yeah, it's tough there. Michael Batten, transfer from Louisiana Monroe. Played his high school ball at Seven Lakes, though, and Katie was a quarterback at Seven Lakes. Chris again with some pressure, he just throws it away. Looks like they were trying to set up the screen, never developed, pressure in the face, and just threw it at the feet. Chris takes the snap and a shotgun set. Four-man rush, Chris going deep over the middle of the field. It's intercepted by Halsey. Halsey, 15-20, and they're going to blow it dead. Looks like Manjack was the intended receiver over the middle. Threw it up for grads on a third down and long. Offense takes over. Coley will be the quarterback on this series for Houston. Spotted at the 40-yard line, breaking a tackle up the middle across the 50 to the 40, down to the 30, 20, down the right sideline to the 10-5 touchdown. Parker Jenkins, 60-yard touchdown run. Man, what a run. He showed some speed on that. He broke a tackle in the backfield. The defense showed that same little nickel pressure off the backside. The gaps were off. He makes a cutback, and when you pressure, there's nobody deep to help make a tackle in pursuit, and man, my guy Jenkins showing the speed to close out the touchdown. How long was that run there? 60 yards. Let's go. Come on, offense. Parker Jenkins with the score. Really, uh, on a lot of really good football. I like what I'm seeing from Coach Woods on that defensive side of the football. Joseph Kim with the kickoff. And Manjack the simulated return. Wood was with, with uh, Willie Fritz at Tulane. Today, if your defense can keep you in games and give you a chance when it comes down to it, you got a chance to beat anybody. Mickle hands it off to Mathis as Mathis plows forward across the 45. You're handing it off. You've got to do a good job making decisions. He's got an option right there to throw the, oh, baby. Mathis the Let's leap go. over a defender as he <laughs> takes it across the red team's 40. And they're going to say he's down at the 41. But Mathis, good cut, good pick. That, uh, that blown up. Mathis will never let him forget about it. <laughs> First down and 10 from the 25. And the ball thrown away. Left side, intended receiver was Manjack. McMichael had some pressure in the face. Trying to communicate with Manjack here now. Maybe a miscommunication there between the route. Yeah, get rid of that ball if you pull it on these RPOs. Those, those defensive ends sometimes aren't blocked. The lineman's not expecting a uh, quarterback to be throwing the ball. Mathis breaking free inside the 10. He has the first down for the Cougars. There is a flag down, though, going the third quarter. McMichael in the, McMichael in the shotgun set. Motion on the offense, backing up five more yards, jumping across. That's a great name, beautiful name. McMickle, pressure again, throws off his back foot, deep down the left sideline, and it is incomplete. Oh. Good effort by Samuel Brown, but couldn't keep the feet in bounds. As to make, uh, those are game-changing plays. Uh, McMichael's showing some good stuff here uh, in the spring game. Third and 15, steps into the pocket. Manjack might have collided with the official <laughs> that disrupted the route. It falls incomplete. Be right there. Martin will try a field goal. 
from 48 yards, has plenty of leg, and he knocks it in. So Jack Martin, transfer from Alabama, kicker for the Cougars last year, was 8 for 14 on field goals a year ago. When I got the call to be able to do this up here in the press tent, as I'll call it, not even the press box, I was hoping the spread would be a little bit better, <laughs> maybe a little buffet style, but uh, nothing yet. I smell some stuff from the concession stands. Here we go. Counter running to the right side. Maybe missed tackles. Those those line uh, safeties need to come down and make the play. Ale throwing it deep down the right sideline. Diving effort, and the catch is pulled down. What a grab again by Ganji. He's your heyday. You're in Houston. You guys play with some tempo. The thing I remember the most was the it looked like the coin flip. <laughs> you remember that? Uh huh. Here we go. Throw over the middle. Touchdown. Chet Runyon with the catch. Ule from. 15 yards out, the connection as the Cougars offense strikes again. Uwe Ale connecting over the middle as we watch the replay here to Jet Runyon. Really nice play here from Uwe. I like his pocket presence. I like what I'm seeing from Uwe today. He's done a really good job. Great two balls there. The incredible throw down the sideline. Contested catch as they host the Rebels from UNLV. Double <laughs> yards deep. Touchback. Offense, I believe, will start their next drive from their own 25-yard line on this possession for Houston. Handoff up the middle. Jenkins breaks the tackle, bounces to the right, takes it across midfield near the 45-yard, five to go in the third quarter. Chris awaits the snap. Hands it off to Jenkins. Jenkins looking for some space, never opens up, and that Cougar defensive line allows nothing. Yeah, that was that was the whole defensive line in on that. Second down and 10 from the 43-yard line. Handoff running left is Sneed. Sneed tries to cut it back inside, but again, can't find any space. Cougar. Uh, myself trying to get uh, connected with all these guys, man. Just a great history, tradition, man, of really great quarterback play here at University of Houston, which is continuing. Uh, we've, we've seen some today. Uh, excited to uh, get to, uh, to play for, for the, the red and white here at University of Houston. I'm telling you, that uh, it will just add to the program's depth. Here we go. Chris takes it near the 40. June 12th, Case Keenum, QBCamp.com. Whistled on first contact. Doesn't really suit what his strengths are. Good catch on a low snap. Throws it out into the flat right side. Caught by Sneed. And Sneed's going to give the Cougars close to the first down yardage. Yeah, it's always tough in these. You don't know how those add up. And it's hard in a spring game where you're not live at quarterback where a lot of those plays, uh, those little gray area plays that tend to be made, um, it's hard to find those uh, when, when the quarterback's not live. So, yeah. I'd Delivering a, a big blow to knock Stacy Sneed off his feet, but a six-yard gain. Second down and four. As Chris out of the shotgun set. Quick throw to the left side and it was deflected at the line and it falls Travian, the linebacker, Luttrell, the corner. Third and four, a flag flies on the handoff left side. Across the 20 yard line. Has the distance for the first down. Parker Jenkins, Fritz synonymous with that program that Fritz wants to make synonymous here. Chris is going to tuck and run. And a tackle made it to McCutcheon again that was in the area that will get credited with the stop after a pickup of a couple. Pet. A sneed to his left shoulder. Fires it into the end zone, right side. Catch is made. Is he in bounds? He is. Touchdown, Houston. Joshua Cobbs goes up into the air, pulls down the touchdown for a Cougar, Cougar score. I love this. Great ball by Chris, giving his guy a chance, putting it with air to the wide side of the field. My man Cobbs going up and getting this ball. Really nowhere else but for the receiver to catch it, knowing where he's at on the field, gets his one foot in, comes down with the ball, maintains control throughout the catch. Touchdown, Coos. Great. Didn't get as much run as I think he would have liked. Eight catches, 71 yards. But you go back to the Bell brothers, Sean and Brian. Brian was a head coach at China Spring. Long history of uh, Bell's coaching there. Their father, Mark Bell, long time coach at China Spring. A little bit of a Texas ship between the coordinator, obviously with Barbe, Sean, and then uh, uh -oh. and then uh, the quarterback. So he's doing a great job in that quarterback room. I'm excited to see these quarterbacks. It'll be fun to watch how this uh, 
you know, the evolution of the program now under Fritz, the staff, the recruiting, all of it. All of it will be fun to follow along with as the carry goes up the middle across the 45. Flashes from everybody, uh, but all the positions. Running back, we've seen it by committee. We got to get some offensive line, defensive line, every, get everybody reps today. We got to have depth if we're going to be uh, really good into those games into December. Sock in the shotgun set. Hands it off, Polk up the middle, and he's yanked down shy of the first down. A tackle for loss as the defensive line for the Houston Cougars again. A whole slate. You see Utah on the conference slate. Uh, pretty interesting seeing all the new schools in the uh, in the Big 12 again. It is different. The college landscape has just changed tremendously, and uh, you know I, I think there's some wow. for uh, decibels loudest stadium outdoor stadium in the world that day. Uh, I started my first NFL start for the Texans. I, I doubt it'll be that loud at Kansas, but it's a great place to play play football. Yeah, that is uh, looking forward to that. That will be a lot of fun. The whole schedule a lot of fun, but Kansas play. Indiana's a, a good, tall kid, man. I saw him downstairs in the uh, meeting room, and I like him a lot. I'd like to see a little bit more from him coming up. 6'4", 200-pounder, uh, an athletic family. He's got him out there, and he's actually taking part in things. He just doesn't throw. Uh, expectations that he'll be good to go for camp. It depends on the recovery. Here's the reverse running to the left. And a big collision. Taking it out near to the 50-yard line for Houston. Right to the left, three receivers to the right side. Lobs oh, it, what a, what a catch. catch. <laughs> it's by Snyder across the uh, 35 into the 30 where he runs into a, a group of Cougars, but the one-hand snag by Sergio Snyder. Jake had him wide open in the flat here. Uh, floats the ball up and over. I mean, these running backs, what a day for the running backs today, man. Throwing. Uh, One-handed grab. Sock throwing it over to the right side. Catch is made. This is Mikel Harrison Pilot. Red shirt freshman. Good decision by Sock there. With me. Double numbers. Mm -hmm. Second and four. Sock over the middle. Pass is caught inside the 20. Cougars into the red zone. It's Matt Burns with the grab to the 18. You want everybody, and we may not have seen as much from the guys that we're going to see a lot during the fall, seeing more from younger guys. Here we go. Take a shot. Launching it towards the oh, end ball. zone. Oh. Incomplete. Pass oh. was actually intercepted on the deflection. Coming away with a pick was Maurice Williams after it hit the back of yeah. Jamal Shaw. Yeah, you knew they were going to take a shot here. Uh, you know, I thought the ball might have been a little bit underthrown, but I like this play by the safety the coming over there, running to the ball. If he doesn't run to the ball, he doesn't make that play. That's a great, great play by, uh, is that Maurice Williams there? Number 27? Yeah. Offense will spread it out a bit in the pistol. Just turn and hand it off. Up the middle. Oh, On the carry is Polk. Is he strong? What do you think of the spring game this year? You know, I like what I saw. Like I said, I think keeping everyone healthy uh, is of utmost importance. You know, and, you know, you put all these expectations on a game-like situation, all these things, and you know, the offense may have may have taken its time getting going there. But I do love what I see from a swarming defense by Coach Woods over there. Those guys just swarming into the football, tackling, great fundamentals, gap sound.